Fitbits, Apple Watches, or any sort of thing that tracks your steps and measures your calorie burn is fraud. I'm going to prove it to you by explaining the real science behind exercise. What's up guys, Jay Vincent here. I'm going to bust another myth for you. Now, whether or not you would like to believe this, Fitbits, Apple Watches, or any kind of gizmo that measures your exercise or calorie burn or counts your steps is literal fraud if they are promoting this, pro this product based on its ability to help you lose weight. Here's why. Believe it or not, despite the popular but wrong belief in the fitness industry, your body does not expend many calories at all during physical activity especially walking, your body expends almost no energy at all walking. The human body is bipedal for a particular reason. Many particular reasons, actually. One, mostly, is a reduction in calorie expenditure. The human body evolved as more or less an endurance organism. We have no hair for better heat dissipation. We're bipedal. We walk upright. This helps us be as most energy efficient as possible. So walking, believe it or not, it's not going to burn barely any calories at all. How many steps you take in a day is literally irrelevant. So this belief that you need to take 20,000 steps or 10,000 steps, I don't know what the number is because it's complete nonsense, will make no difference, okay? Well, if you're 300 pounds, yes, some calorie expenditure is going to help you. But if you are the average overweight woman or man, counting your steps isn't going to make a damn difference. First of all, again, the human body was literally designed or evolved to burn very few calories. I guess we could say it was designed by evolution or the process of natural selection. Another reason? Well, believe it or not, there is a doctor, an anthropologist named Dr. Ehrman Ponser, who studied the metabolism of the Hadza tribe. Now, the Hadza tribe is an indigenous African tribe which uses no modern technology at all. They literally hunt and gather and live very close to what our ancient ancestors may have lived. They expend, or Dr. Ehrman Ponser thought they, ex they would expend, way more calories per day than we do with their constant movement, their constant activity, walking 10 miles a day. So with extremely advanced tools, he was able to measure the calorie expenditure of the Hadza tribe, and then compared it the calorie expenditure of us here, in Western society, sitting on our ass all day, guess what he found? He found that we expend the same amount of energy and calories per day. Can you believe that? The Hadza, African indigenous tribe, walking, expending energy, no modern technology, no deaths, no time-saving, comfort-giving technology, expends the same energy as we do all day. Now, the belief is that the reason Western society is so fat is because we're sedentary. Well, this disproves that. What he found is we burn about the same calories per day. And how is this possible? Well, due to a phenomenon called adaptive thermogenesis. So what he found was our bodies are extremely good at restricting our calorie, calorie expenditure throughout the rest of the time where we're not engaging in physical activity to try to prevent a negative energy balance and prevent weight loss. Our metabolism is so evolved and so efficient that if you expend 500 or 1,000 calories through what you think is exercise, or what I like to call just simply physical activity, your body is so adaptive, it's going to restrict its calorie expenditure throughout the rest of the day when you're resting to make up for it. 
resulting in a net calorie burn or negative energy balance of zero. This is why so many people try to use activity, walking or jogging or spin classes or <laughs> Zumba for the sake of losing weight, and it doesn't work past the first week or two when your body adjusts because your body's adaptive. So if you are using a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or MyFitnessPal or something stupid to track your calorie expenditure, hoping that you're going to lose weight, you are wasting your time. Because research by Dr. Herman Ponser and just the general understanding of our evolutionary biology proves that you're not burning much during exercise. And it also proves that even if you do, your body is going to adjust and make up for it so you don't burn much. So that's another myth busted. I'll leave a link in the description to Dr. Ehrman Ponser's book called Burn. I suggest you listen to it or read it. It's going to open your eyes when it comes to exercise. Also, if you wanted an evidence-based approach to exercise, which isn't going to waste years of your time like a Fitbit, click the link in the description for goldenerasystem.com and use a real research-backed exercise approach that will get you in the best shape of your life with two workouts per week. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you, if you're really serious about transforming your physique and becoming an expert in the process by working with me directly, click the link in the description and join my 12-week mentorship coaching program. I will teach you everything about real exercise science, transform your physique in the process so you will never be confused about exercise again. Working with me directly for 12 weeks and What's included is you also get unlimited access to me, even after the coaching, to ask me questions. So go ahead. If you want to transform your physique now and improve your life, which I believe you should, click the link in the description, book a call with me. I'll show you everything involved in the coaching.